Hello everybody, Nivenoid here, and in today's video we are going to be talking about Thorium Lantern Mantles. Now, these were produced up to the mid-1990s, um, mostly due to safety concerns regarding the Thorium, and they were replaced with Yttrium Lantern Mantles, which had the drawback of being not quite as bright, but lasting long than the thorium mantles. Uh, now, my Geiger counter cannot detect alpha radiation, which is the product of uh, thorium decay. So, how is my Geiger counter detecting the thorium? Well, the answer is it's not. It's detecting the other decay products of thorium. Uh, that emit alpha, no, that, sorry, no, not alpha, uh, but beta and gamma. Now, the main safety concern for thorium is if you were to ingest it, because outside of the body, it's, uh, for the most part, harmless, unless you're, like, using it as a pillow or something, you know, then, then you might have a bit of a safety concern. But, Ingested alpha particles can be a lot more harmful to internal tissues, but the uh, alpha particles outside of the body are relatively harmless because they cannot penetrate the dead layer of skin cells that exist outside of your body. Now, my uh, Geiger counter read this uh, up to be around, I believe, 1,200 counts per minute, which makes it the most uh, potent sample that I am in possession of. These uh, mantles, we actually purchased to use them in our lantern, mostly because of the fact that the yttrium ones were not quite as bright as we wanted it to be. Now, the only real safety pre precaution that I would recommend taking if you're going to still use thorium mantles is yep. to not linger around the uh, the mantle as soon as you light it because radioactive fumes may come off and you really don't want to inhale that. It's just the only thing that you have to take note of. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learn something new and goodbye.